<laughs> we are hotter than Phoenix today. Yeah, it's and that crazy. is that is just nuts. It's very yes, crazy. We will be. I, I know. I, I love that the thermometer in Death Valley is in a place called Furnace Creek. Just makes you feel all hot and cozy. All right, so we got perfectly blue sky across the region. The sun beating down on us, and today will be the hottest day in history. By far, yesterday we hit 104 at SeaTac, broke the previous record of 103, set back in 2009, July 29th. 78 already in Seattle, almost 80 degrees. It's 70 in Olympia and Chehalo, 76 in Everett as we're starting out. Port Angeles, 70, 73 in Forks, and 75 in Hoquiam and Wenatchee. It is going to be a super scorcher. The excessive heat warning from the Weather Service has been extended through tomorrow at 11 p.m. Dangerously hot conditions. I'm, I put the range of highs today, 92 in Hoquiam, Grays Harbor there, to 115. 115 at North Bend. The Cascade Foothills community is hotter than toward Puget Sound. The main impact, extreme highs, and of course, increase from yesterday and heat-related illnesses. Possible. So, future cast here shows pure sunshine throughout the day today. There's noon, and here's six o'clock tonight. And the one thing that's really hopeful is seeing some clouds starting to pour up the coast. And then overnight tonight into tomorrow, we start the marine push. Now, the clouds don't make it all the way in. Maybe Olympia gets a little bit, but the coast will definitely be cooler tomorrow. Well, everybody will be, but the coast considerably cooler. And later on tomorrow, we pour, you know, go back to pure sunshine. And then Wednesday, here we go, marine push all the way in, maybe to Seattle, and much, much cooler, although still above normal. So today's scorching temperatures, 111 for Seattle and Shelton, 112 in Olympia, 113 in Chehalis. As we saw, this is hotter than uh, Phoenix, 104 in Everett, 102 in Bellingham, and another 100 century mark there in Forks. 102 at Snoqualmie Pass and Wenatchee, 112. This is insane. And then tomorrow we cool down in 92 <laughs> with that marine air starting on board and 84 on Wednesday with pure sunshine. But maybe we might actually we might have a little bit of cloud uh, Wednesday morning. So the next seven days includes the 4th of July. I'll have that shortly right now. Here's Adam.